It's still pretty early. It's 7.45, which means it's only 6.45 sun time. And the dog is eating some food. And while the dog eats food, I like to do a couple sun salutations. So I'm just going to set my tripod in the middle of the dining room and just do that. So as you can see, it's early morning and um, I'm going to be stiff when I do these practices. This is literally a first morning stretch. Ready? Just the way you, when you're in bed and you're just like, uh, and you see the dog do one of these kinds of things. Uh, that's what we're doing. I thought I was going to be really cold this morning, so I have all these layers, but now that I'm moving around, I'm already starting to get warm. So I will probably have to adjust that. Hmm, look at that hair sticking up right there. I also like to sing yoga music when I first wake up and there's nobody home today. So everyone gets to hear me sing, you know, squeaky from the morning. Let me get some water. there just in case. So am I in shot? Yes I am. Okay. I can't imagine. I should have turned this sideways, huh? That's okay. potato trees above me, fruit, something I need, a little cherry. Hey, honey buddy. Okay. I'm actually going to do this first one without, well, <laughs> I'm already talking. All the way up and all the way down as you exhale. <sighs> okay, so if you vape or smoke weed, when you do these things that stretch out your ribs and put pressure on your lungs, you're gonna start coughing. <laughs> but that's the beauty of yoga, that's how it works. Now we can inhale up. With the tops of the feet on the floor, we get in our plank pose and scooch forward. Come up with cobra afterwards. And down dog for five breaths.
extend as you inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, we stand all the way up. Now that I've done this first one, I can add a little bit more stretching to my next one. this last one I'm going to talk even less because it's really just about me doing my practice if the first time you sing a song in the morning, just 10 minutes after you first woke up, you might sound a little spooky, creaky, <laughs> but that's okay. It's part of the warming up process. Honey, will you let me do more poses? Come on, do asana with me. <coughs> what kind of poses do I need? Do I need to fold it forward? Of course not. We just did some sun salutations. We probably need to do more standing poses, but this is my pre-morning practice. Like I said, these are the sun salutations I try to do while the dog's eating his breakfast. Um, what are some other exercises I do just in the morning before I'm ready to do anything? Oh, squats. I try to do many, many squats. I'm just gonna pull a chair over and show you how I use something to help me do my squats. 
<laughs> I will use a chair, a counter, the back of this chair. The back of this chair is a good one. <laughs> Just to make sure you get your booty behind your heels. And make sure that your hands are up above you. Don't forget, these are natural movements that we should know how to do already and that we should be able to do. And if we can't, <laughs> well, and guess what my surprise is? These are natural movements, meaning once you start doing them, your body wants to do them because it puts you in alignment. It puts your bones in alignment. <laughs> so when you wanna actually try to do these kinds of poses, they will um, come more naturally. They will come, I find they come very quickly. I was like, oh, squats? I thought squats were gonna be so hard for me to do because they took me so, you know, I went 42 years without being able to do any of them. But then when I started working on them, it came really quick because it's a natural movement that your body wants to be in. <sighs> Talking and yoga is a little bit harder than I thought, but <sighs> we'll figure it out. There are some ab exercises I've been wanting to do. And just some leg raises. Just inhale this up. And actually move the alternate arm. So if my left leg goes up, my right arm's gonna go up. Inhale up. Exhale down. <laughs> if you are hardcore, you do those leg lifts for three minutes and then the next exercise for three minutes. But we're good with just doing 10 on each side. And then we do 10 of these. Don't forget, if when you are getting up from this kind of position, you roll to your side, lift your body up, and let your head come up last, pushing yourself all the way up the way. Even though this is quite a truncated practice, I still need to do incline plane. Like, I really won't be happy until I do that. my skirt be my yoga mat. Okay. Yeah. At eight o'clock, my timer goes off and it says, try yoga. Why not try yoga? <laughs> so.
Um, I've been increasing the distance between my hands and my body for this so that I can do the pose to my liking. Bring your hands behind you. Make this cute little triangle shape between your torso and your arms. Point your toes. Get them as close to the ground as possible. And lift up your hips, turning your head back. I didn't explain it, but as I pushed my feet down to the ground, I lifted up my hips, put my head back, let all my muscles contract in an isometric stretch, and then stay for five breaths. And I'm gonna repeat it. Right now my seatbelt in my car has been very tight. It's literally been pushing on my shoulder, and I can't change the length of my seat distance from the pedal, so I can't actually move my seat at all. So it's getting pretty tight on the shoulder. And then I drove my car and I was on the other side in the passenger seat, someone else drove my car, I was in the passenger seat. And then the other shoulder was starting to get really pushed from the seat belt that's a little too tight. So anyways, this is one of my best counter stretches for that sensation. I can feel this starting to stretch out and get stronger by this pose. Anytime I'm taking a breath and I'm talking, I'm trying to make sure that I'm using full belly breathing so that when I inhale, my belly goes expanding full of air. And when I exhale, my belly button moves back towards my spine. And as I keep exhaling, I then have the choice to engage my bandhas in my yoga practice. In crown plane number two, we're staying for five breaths. Hands behind, make a triangle. Bring your feet, the top, bring your feet, flex as close to the ground. Lift your hips up, straighten your legs. I have to move my hands back. They're not in the right position. Yeah, mm-hmm. forward, letting the tops of your hands rest on the floor. With the next exhale, move a little bit more forward. I personally love my forward stretch. I'm going to move my hands to the front. a bunch of neck exercises these stretches you see me doing because I just woke up <laughs> and that bed always makes me think my pillow is too big or too small something like that it doesn't happen everywhere but it does happen here Okay, what else can we do while we're seated? Now that we are seated, I should say, 
We did some forward stretches. I always like the head to knee pose. So as you can see, I actually put this knee. <coughs> oh, now you can see it. I take the sole of this foot, this gray sole of this foot, and put it against the inside of my thigh. And let this leg go straight forward. As you can see, my legs are like a four. I'm actively letting this thigh move outwards as I'm moving my body forward. I like five stretches of isometric contraction. And if you could stay in this pose for 30 seconds, you can reset the muscle length. <laughs> that is some of the hacks of yoga, the technology, I should say. We're switching sides. I'm bringing the sole of this foot onto the inner thigh of this right leg. This leg doesn't like to go down as much, but <laughs> I have one leg that likes to go all the way out. I like one leg, I have one leg that likes to go all the way up. They both do different things. So as I'm doing this practice, I am analyzing what I'm feeling and then deciding which pose is going to address that issue. So it was not gonna be a set practice every day. Some days I'm gonna be like, oh, I walk so much. Some days I'm gonna have lifted so much. I need to work, focus on different things. As you can see, we went into butterfly. Bring the soles of your feet together. What do you want, honey buddy? What? Bring them as close to your body as you can, as you would like. If it's further out, it's okay. This is actually cobbler pose, so it's okay. <laughs> you can choose what you like for right now. Let the soles of my feet open up just a little tiny bit. Yes, I know. I did not do standing poses. I did not do warrior one. There are a bunch of <laughs> preparatory poses that I did not do. So that's why we're keeping this short and sweet. And just doing the poses we wanna do. Because the poses you wanna do are the ones that you may need minimal warm up for because your body's asking for them. I'm gaining strength from my obstacles. Remembering to enjoy it all. Oh yeah, I sing that. I should sing the second verse. Happy rebirth day, I begin my life again. Each day is a new day, I renew myself again. Yes, my day starts with singing all the time unless somebody tells me to be quiet. I need a twist, so bad, I need a twist. We have so many options. The first one is keep one leg straight and cross the other one over it. So as your foot is on the outside of your leg. And then you turn back towards the direction of your bent knee. All alone, I'm a traveler. Try switching it. Take your <laughs> other leg. This time it's the right, it looks mirror image, whatever. Pick a leg, cross it over the leg that's on the floor flat. 
so that your foot is on the outside out here. Now turn towards that bent leg. Turn towards that knee. You can bring your left hand to the outside of that knee. That's a good option. Now we've done that one, let's try another one. See, both of my knees are up. This time this right leg's going under my booty. Around, I'm gonna bend it and get under me. And once again, this leg, this foot goes outside that leg. And when I turn, I will turn towards that bent knee. Make sure you're nice and tall. Make sure you're straight. Your back is upright, nice and tall. And when you turn around, let your eyes go all the way to the farthest edges. Look far, far, far right. Unwind this. Switch your feet. One of these feet is gonna get bent under. So their heel is right under your hip. This other one is going to cross right over. So your foot is outside of this leg. <laughs> Did I mess it up last time? Did I turn the wrong way last time? Oh, I totally turned the wrong way last time. <laughs> How could that be? No, I didn't. I was about to turn the wrong way this time. <coughs> Gemini moon, so these variations in two different directions are not technically a mistake. You're just, oh, wrong way, just turn back, no big deal. And besides, it's my own practice. Practice means play, can mean play. This is staff pose. A good one to do when you're figuring out what you're going to do next. So bring your hands in front of your heart and rest your chin down onto your thumbs. Rest your chin on your chest. You can't see what he's doing. I should just turn it wider. <laughs> Water time. It wasn't really water time before because the water was cold and so was my body. I was just gonna like freeze. Remember my fancy plants? You are a tube. Water flows through you. Remember my fancy plants? You need sun, water, air, and to be planted in a place where you can grow. Hudson. But he's talking to me. What did you say, baby? Huh? What's up? Pause. Pause and toys. Your 
practice our kung fu. Time for dog paws. Dog paw. Dog paw. <laughs> okay. I will not be happy until I do a bridge pose. And I want the spinal twist you do on the floor. That's kind of like your knees are up and you do the twisty twisty on the floor. Yeah, I want that one too. I swear he says, Jennifer, I love you. <laughs> What's in? I love you. <laughs> oh, we're going to teach him more yoga, huh? I'm going to teach him sign language. Honey, are you trying to play? <laughs> are you tired? No. Is Hudson sleeping? <laughs> are you trying to play? Oh, yeah, you are trying to play. Where's your ball? Where's the frisbee? Ha, ha, ha. Okay, I need a bridge pose. <coughs> oh, let's try it like this. <laughs> okay, I am actually wearing socks, and this floor is pretty slippery, so... I'm gonna do it this way so that I can keep my feet on that carpet. I could use the traction. In bridge pose, you make your body like this. This is your head, these are your knees, and that's your feet. And then you're gonna lift up your hips. See, we make our body like this. This is my head, here's my body, here are my legs, and these are my feet. We can bring our hands to our body. We can bring our hands to the floor alongside our body and also bring our feet, hands to our heels. <sighs> Lift up your hips just a tiny bit. Let that stretch out your lower back. <sighs> Sometimes I rock my hips from side to side even when I'm in my bridge pose. My hands are gonna clasp underneath my body. Very carefully, because, like I said, hard to floor. This one I haven't gone as deep. I plan to stay right here for five breaths. do a twist now. Any version of moving my leg across my body and getting my torso this way. This one I have one leg straight and one leg crossed over. I'm switching sides. 
Now my right leg's going over my left, which is straight. I'm going to turn towards you, and then we're back. together. I'm going to move them towards the window and keep looking at you guys in the camera. You can move your head from left to right. Stretch it like a cat. Uh, mm. Stay here as long as you want. Like literally get your phone and play a video game. What are you eating, honey? Oh, bone. Doggy snacks. Okay, so you may not know this, but we actually put our hands and our wrists into a whole bunch of different positions. We started with plank, we did down dog, we, um, we had our hands behind us. Yes? So another one that helps with this carpal tunnel because we are always on our computers and always on our phones and always in our things like this. So we sit cross-legged. Could you see crossy up and saucy? Could you see crossy up and saucy? Hey, this is my practice. This is how I start my day. With sillies, with music, with jokes, with nonsensicals. It's a vibe and I won't let you fuck it up this whole day. <laughs> That's how it starts. Yay, yoga! <laughs> As you are sitting Chrissy Crusty Abby Stussy, hands go on either side of your hips. And then you just lift your behind up and bring your hands onto your, bring your weight onto your hands. One, that was one. That's two, and this is three. Now remember, we have not done a lot of, this is usually done at the end of a very full practice. I enjoy doing it right now because getting my abs engaged any time of the day helps me. And like I said, it helps stretch out your wrists in different ways than what we have already done. Just a quick lift. The next one we're gonna do for a whole five breaths. And yes, my feet, my, my toes are still on the ground when I do this. You see this? My toes are still on the ground, but I am lifting up my booty. And other days when I am stronger, when I've done more of a full practice and I've warmed this up, that will look different. But I'm not here for the appearances. I'm here for how it feels in my body. So inhale, exhale, and then you're gonna inhale up and, hold, and then there'll be five breaths. Inhale up, stay for five breaths. This also helps 
get the last of all your energy from the practice because you're gonna get all those muscles from the deep, deep core contracting and releasing all their prana. I'm going to use ujjayi breath and belly breathing in my practice whenever I feel like I need to and also as much for the whole practice as I can to help scrub out metabolites and CO2. I need my book. I'm gonna get my book. And yes, I do get up in a sun salutation. Yes, you saw me just lay the fuck out, plant my feet, and push back into a down dog. And up, woo! And don't forget to look up when you get up. Well then, look at that. I cannot easily find my book. That happens. I was looking for the words to a song for a little more chanting, but I can always come back and do that later. When I find the book, I'll do the real chanting sessions. <sighs> I need to lay down. I've done as much as the practice as I can and now it's time to lay down and resorb my energy.
I'm going to be in a corpse pose. stuff. I like playing on the floor. <sighs> Bring your hips a little wider than hip distance apart. Settle your hips. Remove your hoodie from behind your head. Yeah, there we go. Let your feet relax and let your legs relax. Let your knees relax and your thighs. Let your hips relax and your abs and your ribs. Keep them breathing, keep them digesting. I'll tell you sometime later why I have to be so specific. I'm gonna stretch my arms over my head And then just lay them down. I know they don't like to have arms in different positions, but I do not care. I care that the palms of your hands are facing up so that your wrists aren't turned. That's really all I care about. Let it all go. You've done good work today. Now reserve your energy. Tell your muscles it's time to stop. We have no more work to do for now. Yes, I sing to my cells. I sing to my water. I sing to my dog. <laughs> When you feel calm, you can let your ujjayi breathing go and just stay in the quiet space. If your heart is racing and you're trying to relax, then keep breathing. When you start waking up from that, let your fingers wiggle and your thumb can cross, your hands, brush across your hands. Pick any sort of twisty stretch you need to get out of this. <sighs> Roll to your right side. Let your head be the last thing that comes up. I'm in a singing mood. Om Bhud Bhudasvaha Tatsayedum Varenyam Bhago Dima Sai Mahi Yoryona Prajodaya Om Bhakam Jinjamahe Sukham Ventus Dhinabadanam Udvaraya 
I really wish I had my book because I feel like I'm missing one syllable right there. <coughs> Salvation, chance de Bavatu, Salvation, Spamulam Bavatu, Salvation, Spaste Bavatu, Salvezukinaha, to do, 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 and then the room got really messy on top of it, so I'm just gonna have to find it. Asatoma Sakamaya Tamashoma Jotir Gamaya Mikyodma Amitam Gamaya Om Purnamidam Purnamena Purna Purnashati Purnasya, Oh, I don't know the words. Do I sing it or do I just sing the melody? I might just sing the melody. I'll sing the first word because I know it. Tomeva mata chapita tomeva. Without my book, I don't want to get the words wrong. Do 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 change for the next song that makes sense I don't know why Twa Meva Mata makes me sing makes me cry it just does <laughs> I'm doing some casual yoga stretches even though we kind of finished the practice already. What must I learn from today? What demons must I chase away? I'm gaining strength from my obstacles. Remembering to enjoy it all. Happy birthday because I begin my life again. Each day is a new day. I renew myself. 
myself again All alone I'm a traveler And car are my only souvenir Purified body, thoughts and mind Focus always on the divine Cause in every being and Each day is a new day, I renew myself again. Each day is a new day, I renew myself again. Oh. Oh. Om Shanti 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 Om Peace 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 Om Shanti <laughs> Can you tell my Grand Guru Shivananda was a Christian and so was I. We sound so Catholic at the end. <laughs> okay. Shall we sing one more song? Which one could we sing in a bright sunny day like this? This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. <laughs> every day, every day, every day, every day, I'm gonna let my little light shine. <laughs> How many keys did I pick there? I'm gonna let my little light something like that so this is a space to watch me do a real practice and to watch me be uh, <laughs> a real yogi <laughs> and yes I'm gonna do a lot of human things at the same time because this is tantric yogi at this I'm a tantric yogi all along you know I live in this world I have to enjoy this world <laughs> I do enjoy sitting in a cave meditating, but I also have to be a part of this world. So this is gonna be an exhibition of a tantric pra practice. Like I said, sometimes I'm gonna be a smoker and sometimes I'm gonna be someone who eats junk food. and Sometimes I'm gonna be someone who parties too much. But I'm also gonna be a yogi. I'm also gonna have my spirituality and my practice in mind all the time. We're going to close the, set, the practice with this chant of Om three times. I want you guys to join me if you feel so inclined. Inhale, drop your jaw and say the sound of A. Uh. Um. This time, drop your jaw, say the sound of A, uh, and close your mouth to M. Um. Um, good job. Last one. Inhale. Um, Om Shanti. Peace, peace, peace. Om Shanti. Namaste todo la gente. <laughs> Namaste, log. <laughs>
I'm trying to learn Hindi. It's going very slowly. Anybody want to be a Hindi tutor? You let me know. We could stream that too, and then we could teach the whole world Hindi also in real time. <laughs> Yo. Okay, I'm going to stop this, and I'm going to just start another one. I'm just going to start another one. Maybe I'll do it on IG. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding, Twitch. I'm kidding. <laughs> I mean, I would just take you with me right now, outside. You guys wanna come outside? I just feel like I should probably, I'll stop it and restart it. Y'all can come outside.